Well, you've seen them filling your social media news feeds, the myths surrounding this pandemic. With the rising cases, we wanted to take a look at some of those claims. So News Channel 5's Jason Lamb talked with medical experts to separate fact from fiction. Thanks for joining us. By now, you've seen it. It is in response to sharp recent case increases. The press conferences start streaming and the comments start scrolling. So News Channel 5 is looking into some of the most common statements people make on social media regarding COVID-19. Like the claim that those who attended recent rallies and demonstrations in Nashville are behind the spike of confirmed COVID cases. Metro health leaders say there's no evidence for that. There are maybe a total of three cases that have been able to be traced to one of the many protests we've, that we had over the past several weeks. Metro Public Health says contact tracers have been able to get to 90% of all positive cases within two days. And they specifically ask if they've been to a large gathering like a protest or rally. There's also the claim that Nashville's COVID-19 numbers are inflated because COVID positive individuals who get a second positive test later are being double counted. Metro health leaders say that's not true either. When somebody tests positive, we didn't have that person in our system as positive. So when we get the new uh, positive, we're not going to double count them because they're already in our system. Nashville faces another challenge. This is just the beginning of the claims we've debunked today. You'll find the others on our website, newschannel5.com. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.